Hi everyone, welcome to Home with Kelly P. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my recent laundry room slash mudroom mini makeover, which I did on a budget. I did not want to spend a lot of money on this. It just needed a few tweaks here and there to make it much more functional and organized. So basically I shopped my home for most of the items. I did buy a couple of decorative pieces, but for the most part, I shopped my home for any baskets I had in my house to help organize in this room. So it really was a budget friendly, cost effective makeover that I did on this room. Now this makeover all started because of one section in my mud room that has driven me crazy for years. And there is a gap between my washing machine and my dryer. It's about an eight inch gap. And it drives me nuts because, you know, dust collects down there, things will fall in between them and they're hot, it's hard to get at. And you're probably wondering why I just don't um, push the machines together. Well, they're front loaders that we have on pedestals. And if they are too close together, they bounce off one another and it, it disrupts the uh, tumbling mechanisms in the machine. So we can't, we don't put them together. So we have this gap and this is what started this makeover. So I think I found something. I'm really excited to show you. Uh, I think I found a solution for that gap, which I think is going to work so well. So I'm really excited to show you that. Now, as I mentioned, they are front loaders on pedestals. We bought the pedestals when we bought the machines and the pedestals are fantastic. Um, they bring the machines up, which help with your back. So you're not, having to bend down so far to get in there and they offer storage too there's quite a lot of storage in them but in my case they offer a slight problem because they are higher and I'm not that tall I have a really hard time getting in the cupboards above the machines so for things like my laundry detergent um, fabric softeners things like that I don't keep them above the washing machine because it's just too hard and awkward to get at uh, all the time. So I keep my daily stuff in another area and um, I just keep extra stuff in above the washing machine or stuff that I'm not going to use that often so it's up there. So I think with my solution for the gap this is going to help solve that problem as well. So if you are new here, welcome. My name is Kelly. I'm so happy you stopped by and please take a look around my channel. Look, check out some other videos. I would love for you to do that. And if you enjoy budget friendly DIY, uh, organizational um, home decor videos, I hope that you will subscribe to my channel and join my growing little family here. And don't forget to hit that little gray bell right beside the subscribe button because that will notify you every time I upload a new video. So now without any more rambling, let's head down to my laundry room and let's get going on this budget friendly mini room makeover. Here's my laundry room slash mudroom and here's the gap I spoke about in between the washer and the dryer. I think it's a space that could be better utilized than what it is now other than just a catch-all. So I think what I found at Ikea is going to work really really well and I'm so excited to show you what, um, what I found. And there above the cabinets, I tried to do something for fall, but it was uh, it was a fail. I really didn't like it, so I can't wait to take that down. So here's just another view of my laundry room. There's my uh, vacuum and my brooms. They have to stay there. It's really the only spot for them. I'm actually thinking of painting these knobs. There's nothing wrong with them, but I think they'd look really good in black, so I might spray paint them. And this hanging shoe basket I have used for years and it's a perfect spot to house our mittens, our scarves, our gloves, our hats for winter. So that just needs to have a good perch. There's too much stuff in it. Now here's where I keep my laundry detergent and some other supplies. And it's actually a very handy area to hang up my you know, my clothes that come out of the dryer. And then it also, I also have this other rack here for other cleaning uh, products. Here's just another view from 
just in front of the dryer. It's just, you can see how tight it is. So everything just needs to be tidied up and organized a little more efficiently. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, tackle this uh, hanging basket and I'm going to just take everything out and purge what we don't need or use anymore. Next up is just taking off everything off this little shelf so I can purge that as well and get cleaning underneath it, give it a vacuum, a wipe down, and just start to get everything else organized. This felt so good to finally take down this fall decor. It really wasn't working for me, so I don't know why it took me so long, but it felt good to get it down. Now here's the item that I got at Ikea, and it's called this Vezken. Uh, little cart and it's on wheels and it was actually I think it, the dimensions were seven and a quarter inches wide so it was going to be perfect for that spot so as you know you have to try and put these IKEA things together so that's what I'm going to try and tackle here and this little cart was only $12.99 and now the big test, I'm going to put it in this space and it fit perfectly. I was so excited. It's going to be the perfect cart, the perfect thing for this area. I was so excited for this. You're calling. I'm falling. So I did pick up a couple of jars from my local dollar store to help in this area. And now the fun part is just putting it all together. I loved this little container with the bamboo lid. It only came in that small size. Otherwise, I would have loved it for my laundry soap. But I'm going to use it for my little, uh, what are those called? Those little beads that smell so nice. So here's a question for you. Laundry. Yay or nay? Let me know in the comments below. Do you love doing laundry or is it a chore you just don't like? I actually really, really do like doing laundry. So this was fun just being able to put all my laundry detergents on this little shelf and get it organized. I was really excited because I can see it really working well. And then I just took another one of these bamboo jars and uh, for decor, I got some clothes pins from the dollar store and I'm just gonna use them as a little decorative piece. I think just adding these nice, cute little touches just helps elevate the room, just kind of levels up the look just a little bit. Now I'm going to work on this side and these white baskets I had already in my house in another room, which means there's another project coming because I took everything out of those and I need to work on those. But here I am, I'm just making sure they fit all together and I just like the color. I like it being um, all the same color and I had these in another part of my house as well. So I'm going to use that for my attachments for my Dyson vacuum. And I really did like the look of having all the same color basket, even though they're not all the same, it just made it look so much nicer. Now it's time to work on this side of the room and this is where we come in from the garage. So I do keep, oh, there's my little helper there, Gussie. He um, always has to be where I am. <laughs> um, so this boot rack, I wanted to clear off and just clean off this coat rack because with the weather changing, we are desperately gonna be needing that coat rack and the boot rack for boots. Seven, eight. Ready for that 
So this is the next day and I remembered I had these baskets on a shelving unit in my office and these baskets are also from Ikea and they're so pretty. I just love the texture of them and I thought they would be perfect for this shelf to house our extra paper towels and our extra Kleenex. And even though they're not white, I just thought they brought a really nice element to the room a nice texture and color and it just helped elevate this spot just a little bit and they were perfect for the paper towels and the kleenex and the hubby's baseball hats they stayed right where they always do that was his one request that i not touch them and that is just fine with me um, he knows where they are and that's where he likes them and we did end up purging all our winter stuff here and we did get rid of a lot of that stuff I, missed you. Give me that kiss now. I also did find a third plain white basket if you remember earlier I had one here that had some blue handles on it but I did find another white basket so I just swapped those out and I love the way this shelving unit looks now it's so much easier to see what I have and find everything so quickly now in this section I didn't really do very much at all I just cleaned it out of all the old shoes that were there I mean they're all sandals and it the weather has changed so I'm not going to be needing them anymore and the hooks are all ready for our winter coats and I'm so glad you have managed to stay to this this far in the video because now the fun part comes I found this Ray Dunn laundry basket from HomeSense and I loved it and then I'm just going to add in my little um, clothespin jars and just another little plant on the other side and it was a really nice little touch to this side of the room. I just want to hold you close to me. I really like you. Do you like me? Don't you want to see what this could be? I am And now here's a quick look at how this side of the room turned out. Actually, the laundry room side. I almost forgot one thing to put up. I redid this little sign. It has been up in my laundry room for quite a while and uh, it looked totally different. I painted over it and I just added this. I just printed out these words in the, uh, the skinny font I think it is to kind of replicate Ray Dunn. And uh, yeah, I love it so much more now and I'm just going to place it up here. And I just use the Velcro, um, the command Velcro strips to hang it. I hope you enjoyed this video on my budget-friendly room makeover in my uh, laundry room mud room. I am really pleased with the way it turned out. I am loving this little Ikea cart I got to put in between my washer dryer. I've already done a load of laundry and it is so nice having it right at my fingertips here. I cannot tell you how happy it made me. Just, it's the little things, right? It's the little things that make you um, happy. Uh, but I'm loving the cart. It, it works well. You can pull it in and out. I'm just loving it. And I'm also loving the way my, um, my little nook here is with my cleaning supplies and our paper towel and Kleenex. I love that you can't see it and it just looks much more uniform over there so that makes me really happy too. 
and honestly I love the knobs being black in here I don't know what it is I just I love the look I'm so happy I spray painted those um, I don't know why they just I like them on the white cabinet so much better so I'm really really pleased that I went ahead and did that and that was an easy fix it was a small can of spray paint from Michaels and I have three new handles so that's really a bonus too. But thank you again for stopping by. Be sure to say hi in the comments below. Um, let me know what you thought of the makeover, what your favorite feature is. Just love to connect with you, uh, with you guys and thank you so much for stopping by. So until next week guys, I hope you have a great week. Bye. Tonight away I am ready for the heartbreak That's usually how